Hey guys, Stephanie here and I'm back with more movie chatter. And if this is your first time here, I want to thank you for checking out my channel. If you're a regular, welcome back. This is a movie channel, so everything I do here is movie related. I do collection updates, top 10 lists, reviews, and videos that I post every Wednesday where I give you a few suggestions for Blu-rays and rentals to watch at home, as well as a few options for those of you who want to head out and see a movie in the theater. So if this is the type of content you like, this is the point when I tell you, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you'll know when I upload my videos. And what I have for you today is a video that was requested by several viewers, and it is my Digibook collection. Now, there, there aren't a, a, a lot of Digibooks available, so what I have is kind of almost what's out there. there. I mean, I'm missing a few, obviously, because I started a little bit late with collecting Digibooks. And I really do like the, the Digibooks themselves, but there aren't a lot out there. And I really wish they made more, because they really are quite nice when they do them. But I have to say, I've been a little disappointed in the way Target has kind of gone over. They call it a digibook, but you'll see it's more of a gallery book, so I'm kind of shying away from those. But I really do like the old style, old school, old style digibooks. But I'll show you what I have, and I'm just going to go through them really quick because I don't want this video to get... If I went through every one, every detail, it would be crazy long. So I'm just going to try and kind of blow through these and if there's ones that you want to see more information on or more specifically you can let me know in the comments and I can always show them in another video. So I'm just going to get right into it and my first one is 300 and this is a great movie and it's a great digi book. Here's the front and the back and then you have some more inside artwork and you have the blu-ray with more inside artwork and really, this this is um, this one talks about the different actors, and then there's a lot of articles about the making of the film. But it gives you bios on the different the actors, the directors, and whatnot. But it, it's a it's a good digi book. Just not I'm not crazy about the ones when they put the Blu-ray stripe on the top. We know it's a Blu-ray, but that's what they do. My next one is the Tim Burton version of Batman that stars Jack Nicholson, Michael Keaton, and Kim Basinger, or Basinger, however you want to say it. And this is a great shot on the back of uh, Michael Keaton and Jack Nicholson as the Joker. This is how it looks. Opened up. Then you have some inside artwork. And then kind of plain in the front. But then this one has kind of a, has a little graphic novel on the inside of it. And then there's some articles and um, looks like, yeah, there's little excerpts from the scripts and things like that. So this is a pretty nice one. I like this one. Now this is one of the Target ones that you'll see what I'm talking about. It's Black Panther, one of the most recent releases. It comes with a slip cover. And then you have your fold out like this. And then they put, they called it a digi book online, but it's more of really just a gallery book. And it comes out, and you just kind of have some pictures from the film. So it's really not the same, and it's not the same quality. I mean, there's a, a few interesting things in it, but it's mostly just gallery pictures from the film. So. Not my favorite, not my favorite style of digi book. I really like the old school digi books, but you know, live and learn. The next one, The Dude Abides. This is a great one. It is the limited edition Big Lebowski starring Je uh, Jeff Bridges and John Goodman. And this is a really nice edition. I love this one. And the infamous rug just ties the whole room together. And this is how it looks. Opened up. Then you have some nice interior artwork and you have your blu-ray in the back and this one just kind of really goes through like different standout quotes from the movie so it's pretty simple but it's nice and it, it, it serves the movie well I think this one is a nice box set this is um, the collector's dish edition of the bridge on the river Kauai I believe I'm saying this correctly Quay, Quai, you tell me in the comments. And it comes in a slip box, which is always nice. And then you have a nice digi book inside. Nice size digi book. And you have nice artwork on the front and the back. You have your Blu-ray in the front. And then uh, a DVD version in the back. And it also comes 
with some lobby cards, different a pack of lobby cards which I haven't opened, and a digital copy which I'm not going to show. Sorry guys, maybe in a giveaway. And then it just kind of goes through different scenes and different um, different different shots and different scenes from the movie. It's a great movie. If you haven't seen this one, definitely pick it up. And I think this one is still available on Amazon. So you might be able to uh, you might be able to pick this one up. And this next one, a great film from Steven Spielberg, The Color Purple. And you have a nice scene from the movie on the back. A famous scene there on the back with your Blu-ray. And another great scene from the movie in the front. And then again, it just talks about the act, really mostly talks about the actors inside. Danny Glover, Whoopi Goldberg, and Margaret Avery. And you get the picture. So that's kind of what that one's all about. And my next one, this is a cool one. This one I got on eBay. The Dark Knight Rises. It's got the lenticular front. You see Bane and Batman. Hopefully you can see that. And this is what the front and the back look like. Inside you have Bane. And in the front you have uh, yeah, Batman and the Blu-ray. And again, this is, a, this is a graphic novel style inside. So that's what you get with that one. The next one, uh, this is a great movie starring Jamie Foxx, Beyonce, and Eddie Murphy, and it is Dream Girls. This is a big breakout for Jennifer Hudson. This is the extended edition, and it's the the book part is small, but what it comes with is uh, lyrics. It's kind of like a playbill almost if you went to a Broadway play. So that's a nice little feature, and you have your Blu-ray and your director's cut bonus edition too. So you have that, that's Dream Girls. And this was the uh, very first role for a very young Christian Bale. It also stars John Malkovich, Miranda Richardson, and it was directed by Steven Spielberg. True Events, Empire of the Sun, takes place during World War II. There's a very young Christian Bale. I think it says in the book that he beat out 4,000 other boys for the role. Fantastic film if you haven't seen it. And it's really a lot of a lot of just pictures inside, but very cool movie and a very nice book. This is a very famous scene, Christian Bale there on the end. But if you want to see Christian Bale as a young man, check out Empire of the Sun. It's a great movie. And this one they called the Digi Book, but it's more like a a box set. This is the 4K uh, lenticular. Hopefully you can see that edition of E.T. And it comes with the oops, drop the disc 4K. And then it comes with a book. And on the back. And then the book talks about a lot about the music, the writing. It talks about the different actors. It talks even about the voice of E.T. So you get a lot of nice articles in this one. But I, I wouldn't call it so much of a digibook, classic digibook style. This is kind of more what these, uh, the newer ones are going towards. They're, they're not actually the book style. This next one is a classic and it's the classic style. Uh, stars Linda Blair, The Exorcist, who doesn't love it. And you have this famous scene on the back with the priest going up to her room inside. And then we have whew, some creepy disc artwork there, if you can see that. And then the inside is pretty much articles and pictures from the movie. This is a very famous scene from the movie. So yeah, this this one you can still find online and you can find it on eBay for a pretty decent price. So if you're looking for The Exorcist, definitely do your homework and look around. And this is a great one, a uh, great film from Michael Douglas, Falling Down. Again, I like this, but I don't like this stripe. Famous scene from the back, um, on the back, famous scene from the movie. And we have back. And this one just kind of has, um, I think this one is more, yeah, this is a lot of 
articles and information about the actors and actresses in the movie. So this is a pretty, it's, it's a thinner one, but it, it has a lot of information in it, so it's nice. And this one is a nice one from Stanley Kubrick, Full Metal Jacket. And again, there's the blue bar that we all love. And this is a, a great shot on the back. So that's the front and the back. Inside you have film strips from the movie. Same in the back. And it comes with a DVD and a Blu-ray. And then the inside is really dedicated to the actors. Vincent D'Onofrio, who did a great job, fantastic job in the movie. Matthew Modine. So you get the picture. And this is another, this is a great movie. Uh, if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out, especially if you're into history, Civil War, all that. It's called Gettysburg, starring Tom Berenger, Jeff Daniels, and Martin Sheen. And this is a great movie, and it's a really nice um, digibook. Hopefully I haven't been saying steelbooks through the whole thing, but I mean digibooks. This is a map of Gettysburg with, I think, the, yeah, that's the DVD. And then in the front we have the Blu-ray. And this one really does the same thing. It shows pictures from the movie. And then there's a lot of articles about the different actors. Like there's a, an essay on Tom Berenger and the, the other actors in the film. But yeah, if you get a chance, I think this one you can still grab on Amazon. So maybe check that out. And these three, I just grabbed two on Amazon, one on eBay. They are all the James Dean films. First one is Rebel Without a Cause. And then we have the, the back there. And this is the Blu-ray. I'll show you the disc work, the artwork in the, in the book. And then we have the artwork in the front. But yeah, these are uh, three nice pickups for the, uh, the James Dean set. And I got East of Eden and Rebel Without a Cause on Amazon, and I picked up Giant on eBay. But it talks about different scenes in the movie and production notes, essays on production, things like that. But it, they're pretty good books. They're, I like them. They did a good job on these. And this one's East of Eden. And you have the back artwork. Inside artwork. And then that famous shot there. And again, same thing. Talks about uh, the author of the of the movie and the book. How, how uh, taking the big book to screen. So you get some interesting essays about the process. Because it was based on a book. Tells you how they got it to make it a movie. Um, this last one is the one I got on eBay. It stars Elizabeth Taylor, Rock Hudson, James Dean. And it is called Giant. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. This is a great one. And they did a nice job on this digi book. They give you the Blu-ray in the front. And then you have a disc of extras and a DVD in the back. And beautiful shot of Elizabeth Taylor. And again, this one, it's a lot of production notes and notes about the movie. And not as many, there's pictures, but it's more, this one is more essay style. So you get more essays, less pictures. But yeah, you can definitely, there's a couple sellers on eBay that are selling Giant. This one I haven't even watched yet, but I picked it up because I heard conflicting things about it. And it's a DC one, so why not? Uh, Justice League. The lenticular or 3D, I don't know, it doesn't do much. I don't know, can you see that? It's kind of weird. Probably like um, Ben Affleck's mustache in this. <laughs> anyway, so you have the inside here. And again, it just talks about... It's a lot of uh, production notes and pictures inside. There's not a lot of essays. It's mostly, yeah, it's mostly just pictures about the movie. And then you get a DVD in the back. And a nice shot of the group in the back. Now this next one I actually took out of the slipcase ahead of time. It's Logan. But I took it out of the slipcase ahead of time because it is a nightmare to get out. But this was probably the last digi book that I really really liked from Target and it's Logan and it's already coming out of the uh, the only thing I don't like about it is how they house the blu-rays and you'll see it almost just fell out it's um, a hardcover book 
and the blu-ray just kind of sits in here it doesn't snap in so it almost fell out as you saw but that happens every single time um, it's a black and white picture book so it's all just photos from the movie there's no essays no text nothing like that but you get some pretty nice shots from the movie and it also came with the noir version of the film the black and white version of the film so that was pretty cool I took that out before because it kept falling out but that's the problem with these everything falls out every time you take it apart so that's Logan and then this is a great one from Denzel Washington and Spike Lee Malcolm X you have a nice picture on the back you get the blu-ray pretty simple artwork on the front and same thing with the DVD on the back and then inside you get notes and essays on the movie and you have a nice set of film facts this is a nice one of the nicer digi books it has more information and in it. it has nice pictures and then some nice essays to go with it and then I have the matrix because who doesn't want the matrix in every single edition that you can possibly get the back is pretty plain as you can see and the lovely blue stripe inside same thing plain 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 and with this one you just get a blu-ray there's no DVD or special feature disc and this one really just comes with uh, notes on the movie very simple notes and then pictures that go with the notes so it's a very very basic digi book but it serves a purpose here's another great one Midnight Express uh, based on a true story of a man in a Turkish Turkish prison very powerful movie that kind of looks like a J card not the greatest looking digi book but I love this movie so when I saw the digi book I had to grab it and again it just comes with the blu-ray disc and this one really just focuses on um, mostly essays about the movie a lot of there's pictures but it's mostly written a lot of essays so I always like that because you get a lot of fun facts about the movie that maybe you wouldn't even get on the special features on the discs itself alright so that's the first half of my collection I'm gonna break away for a minute grab the second half and we're gonna wrap this up okay guys I'm back and I have the rest of my digi books we're gonna wrap this up and I'm starting with probably my favorite one out of the whole lot Jaws and the back is just a J card I believe this one is out of print I see it online for some crazy prices famous shot there from the movie uh, that's the blu-ray and then it comes with the DVD and we all remember her and what happened to her don't drink and swim and it comes with some really great notes on the whole on the movie this is also this also talks about the mechanical shark and here's an article on Roy Schreider Richard Dreyfus and this actually this comes with a lot of really good information so if you happen to be able to find a seller on eBay for a really reasonable price I would say pick it up because this is one of my favorite digi books Jaws it's a good one and then we have uh, Ghostbusters 1 and 2, Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, Sigourney Weaver, Harold Ramis, and Rick Moranis. It's a classic. Again, the back is J-style card, or J-card style. And we just have a table of contents. And the two movies. And then the inside is, you have some production notes, notes on the actors. It's good. It gives you some nice information. Nothing crazy. This is a great movie and not a bad digi book. Stars, uh, this is the 20th anniversary edition of Goodfellas, Robert De Niro, Ray Liotta, Joe Pesci. And who doesn't love Goodfellas? And I know when I was talking about my top 10 favorite movies, I said that Goodfellas won Best Picture, and what I meant is it meant it won Best Picture at BAFTA. It did not win at the Academy Awards, so I have now corrected myself. Um, and the inside really is pictures and essays about the actors. So it's a nice, it gives you some nice information. That, um, funny how? I mean, funny? Like I'm a clown? I amuse you? Who doesn't remember that? Joe Pesci, famous line. 
Anyway, this is a really nice one. If you love Goodfellas, it's worth a pickup if you can find it. I actually found that one in Costco of all places. And this one I took out of the slip cover because, again, like Black Panther, it's a nightmare to get out. This is The Greatest Showman. And, again, this houses the Blu-ray in a weird way, so it falls out a lot. And this one is really just pictures from the movie. So, again, it's kind of a gallery book style. There's not too much information about the movie. So if you like the movie and you enjoy the pictures, this isn't a bad addition to have, but you're not going to get much information out of it. So just get it for what it is. And this one is the 50th anniversary of Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. I love this movie. There's actually a reboot of this starring Ashton Kutcher. You have nice shots from the movie inside. You have your Blu-ray, some nice shots from the filming of the movie inside. And really this just talks about each of the actors and actresses, Katherine Hepburn. And it's a basic, a basic one. There's not a ton of information, but it's a nice format to get this movie in. And what a great movie. If you haven't seen Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, pick it up. And this one, I have not watched these films yet. I'm saving it for, it's a Blizzard type thing. This one is The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey. The other ones I got on Steelbook. This one I did not see a Steelbook, so I grabbed the Digibook. Pretty nice edition. And you have some nice artwork in here. I'm going to do the same thing I did with The Lord of the Rings. I'm going to watch them all back to back during a blizzard. That's, what, that's how I did Lord of the Rings. And then you have your uh, Blu-ray and special features in the back. Or your DVD and special features. And this one is really, it's really done in a nice way. You can see that. They give you plenty of information on the film, the actors. Talks about Gollum. Who doesn't love Gollum? And the ring. But yeah, if you haven't seen The Hobbit, I, I think this one is still out there too. I read this on Amazon, so you might want to check out Amazon. And this one, this is a great, great film. Uh, Paul Newman and Jackie Gleason as Minnesota Fats in The Hustler. And that's front and back. Very cool shot inside of the billiards table. And this is a great movie. If you haven't seen it, oh, definitely check this one out. And this one has a lot of um, essays in it. It has a lot of essays and a lot of information about the actors in the movie. So, yeah, definitely. Again, this is one of those ones. It's a real thin book, but it's got a lot of information in it. So, if you like The Hustler and you can find it, definitely pick it up. And this last one in this pile... I also took out of its slipcase because, again, it's a nightmare to get out. This is Independence Day Resurgence. Not the greatest movie, but I figured if I was going to pick it up, I was going to pick it up in a decent style. And again, it's kind of just sitting in there and the disc falls out all the time. But you have some cool pictures and notes inside. It's a nice looking edition. I, I think I like the book more. I, I wasn't crazy about the movie, but the book's pretty cool. So if you're going to pick it up, that's the way to go. And this one I am crazy about. It is Alfred Hitchcock's North by Northwest starring Cary Grant, Eva Marie Saint, and James Mason. Great, great Hitchcock movie. And there's some really... That's pretty cool. And you have your Blu-ray inside. And there are some really interesting articles on the movie and the making of in here. This is a great, this is a great um, digibook edition. You have an essay on Alfred Hitchcock. And there's a lot of, a lot of things that went into filming this movie that are in this digibook. So if you can grab it and you're a fan of the movie, definitely pick this one up. And this one, ugh, who doesn't love this one? Jack Nicholson in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Fantastic movie. Jack Nicholson is great. You have your Blu-ray inside. And then this one comes with, again, a lot of notes, a lot of uh, essays about notes on the nest, and a lot of essays about the actors and the director, and nice group shot there. This is a pretty good one. This is a, this is a pretty decent um, digibook. So if you can find it, check it out, grab it. 
The next one, Clint Eastwood in The Outlaw, Josie Wales. If you're a fan, this is a good addition to get. Nice inside artwork. And then the back, you have your Blu-ray. And again, I like them better when they, they snap in there because it holds them in place better. Um, it has some nice pictures from the movie and essays. Again, some of these smaller ones, these thinner books, uh, surprise me because they actually, this talks about uh, director and actor Clint Eastwood. These thinner ones actually surprise me because they end up having more well-written and informative essays than some of the bigger editions. So yeah, if you, if you like this movie and you see it, grab it. And this is a good one, uh, Poltergeist. And then we have the back. So, looks like this. This is pretty cool. Simulating the uh, television screen. And you have your Blu-ray in there. This is just a Blu-ray edition. But you have a lot of uh, really cool notes and information on the actors in the movie. And production notes and things like that. So this, again, this is a nice edition. And again, thinner book, but really full of uh, good in information. And this is one of my, probably my second favorite uh, uh, digi book, Rocky. This has a lot of great information about Sylvester Stallone and his writing process. And I think I talked about this in another video, probably my top 10 list. But this really goes into a lot about Sylvester Stallone's process in writing Rocky and getting himself cast in the role of Rocky. So this is a great digi book to have if you're a fan of the movie. And I mean, come on, who isn't? We have Creed 2 coming out in November. Who isn't excited for that? I know I am. And it talks about the actors. And like I said, there's a ton of information in here about Sylvester Stallone's process in making of the film. So definitely if you're a fan of Rocky, look for this one. And uh, I've been doing re uh, really well on eBay, finding decent sellers. So you might get lucky. And this is a fun film that I don't hear a lot of people talk about, but I enjoyed it. It is Ben Stiller in The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. This is a really plain steel, uh, steel book, a uh, digi book. It's a very plain digi book. Again, this is housed in that weird kind of slip. And this is just all pictures from Life Magazine. It's interesting for the pictures, but there's no information in it. So if you're not interested in the pictures, just get the standard Blu-ray. But this is a really fun film. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. And this one, Seven, had to have it. Great picture on the back. And there's a lot of notes in this one. A lot of production notes, notes on the actors. This is a really, really nice uh, digibook. Again, not crazy about the blue stripe on the front, but this is chock full of information. And then you get notes. Looks like their notebook on the inside. Same thing in the front. Really nice, though. Really nice um, digibook. And of course, Shawshank Redemption. Great shot on the back. And we have our shot of the prison yard. And again, this one is full of articles about the, uh, it has a trivia section and articles about the actors. So yeah, this is a really nice addition too. And like I said, a lot of these you can still find on eBay if you can't find them on Amazon. Um, this one, they call it a digi book, but yeah, I guess it could be. It's got, it's got a decent book in the front. It is the original Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire. It's one, two, and three. Then you have this on the back. And in the front, you have a book. Yeah, I guess it is a good book. Uh, essays about all the movies and the actors. And then you have the movies. Each of the movies are in a slip slipcase inside the book. So it's a pretty nice addition. I like these. And they did The Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2 with Andrew Garfield in the same format. And you have the back. And then again, you have a book in the front with essays and production notes. And you have the two films housed in slip cases inside. So they're pretty secure. They do not fall out of these. The next one, I don't know if I, this one I don't know if I would consider a digi book, but this is how Target sold it. The um, Spider-Man Homecoming. And it kind of just looks like a high school notebook. And it unfolds. 
I mean, it's cool. It's nice looking. You can see that. And then it comes with a little graphic, a mini graphic novel inside. And that's about it. The rest of it just kind of looks like a school notebook. So that's what they call a digi book now. I don't know if I would classify it as that, but that's how they're selling it. And then this one, I think the uh, the steel book and the digi book are both nicer and better than the movie. But I, I didn't hate it. I, I know this got a lot of hate, but I, I didn't I didn't hate it. It could have been better. It could have been worse. But it looks nice. Suicide Squad. Nice on the inside. And then you have your other two discs in the back. And this is actually a decent um, decent digi book. It has some cool pictures on the inside and information notes about the film. So, yeah, I would say this is this is one of the nicer digibooks that uh, uh, DC has put out. This one, I was not happy with. This one is the same format as Black Panther. They called it a digibook, but it's really a slipcase. This is Thor Ragnarok. It's a slipcase. It kind of just opens up like this, and then you have a gallery book inside. So I wasn't real... I mean, it's got some good information, but I don't like how it's all in pieces like that. But I picked it up and, like I said, live and learn. This one is a great one. Great movie, classic, and a great digi book. Uh, Gregory Peck in To Kill a Mockingbird, the 50th anniversary edition. Love this movie. So great to revisit. I remember reading the book in high school. Shh, that's how old I am. And then you have the back. And then on the inside, you have plenty of... Posters, lobby cards, information about the film. Really, really nice. There's some great artwork in here about the film. From the film, about the film. Some movie posters. So there's a lot. Of, this is a really nice edition. I'm happy I found that one. And that one I'm pretty sure is still on Amazon. And of course, The Town, Ben Affleck. And pictures inside. Same in the back. And really most of this is pictures from the movie and then very small, very small notes, as you can see. But mostly pictures, but still a great movie and I'm really happy to have the extra edition of this one. And this is a fantastic movie, Usual Suspects. Plain on the back. And this one stars Stephen Baldwin, Gabriel Byrne, Chaz Pelm, Palmateri, Kevin Pollock, Kevin Spacey, Benicio Del Toro, you name it, it's in here, everything but the kitchen sink. And this is just a lot of notes with pictures. It's mostly pictures, and then you have some notes on the actors, a few notes on the director, but a lot of pictures. Spoiler alert, don't read it if you don't want to know. And this is the first digibook I ever got. Whatever Happened to Baby Jane also happens to be in my top 10 favorite movies. Um, it, it stars Betty Davis and Joan Crawford. This is the anniversary edition nominated for five Academy Awards. This is a great movie. If you haven't seen it, check it out. And I believe you can still get this digibook on Amazon. I could be wrong, but I've seen people picking it up recently, and it comes with notes and great shots from the film. There's just classic shots from the film. They talk about Joan Crawford. They talk about Betty Davis. There's great extras on the Blu-ray. I mean, I've, I've gone through this front to back and the Blu-ray. I've gone through the whole Blu-ray. This is a great edition. If you can find this on Amazon, definitely pick it up. This is the edition you want. And finally, my last digibook is a DC one, Wonder Woman. And I guess it has a, uh, can you see that? Not sure what it does, but front and the back. And then this one snaps right in. Very nice. Good picture of a Wonder Woman there. And then we have the DVD in the back. Kind of plain, but it's good. And then we have a lot of notes and very cool pictures from the movie. So it's a, it's a really nice, very glossy, nice, nice uh, digibook. So that is my complete digibook collection. You guys asked for it, and I brought it to you. So hopefully you enjoyed this. 
and I want to thank you guys as always for watching. I'm going to be doing another video midweek, uh, my picks for the week, and then probably next weekend I'm going to do another Criterion video, but I'm going to do it in the new style where I do a review of just two or three films and break them down and, and hopefully you guys will enjoy that. So again, I want to thank you guys for watching and if you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up, comment, like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want because you know I appreciate everything. And that's going to do it for me today. So until next time, that's a wrap.